Welcome to this video on the electrochemistry topic where we're going to be looking at predicting reaction feasibility um, in a number of more complicated examples. So as before, uh, why don't you read this question and it's a four mark question, see if you can have a go at answering it and um, we will gradually uh, go through the answer in a moment. Okay, so let's start on this question here. So it's a four mark question. Let's first just analyze what the question is actually saying. So we've got in aqueous acid, something happening. Cl minus ions are reacting with ClO minus ions to form chlorine gas. That's the product of the reaction. Cl2. So in fact, must be like so. So explain why. That's our task. And they haven't told us exactly how, but they've given us these standard electropotential values, so we are to use these to explain that. So it's helpful just to think here about what type of reaction is happening. So in this case, the Cl- is forming Cl2, so we've got oxidation here. And in this case, the ClO- is forming Cl2, which is reduction. So we're always going to need to bring it back to the redox equilibria that are involved. So, explain why that's happening. So, first thing we do, let's look at the standard electrode potentials, and we find that E standard for ClO minus Cl2 is more positive than Cl2 Cl minus. Therefore, ClO- minus has a greater tendency to gain electrons than Cl2 and so it will be its redox equilibrium will shift to the left Shifts, so it shifts to the right. The one with the greatest tendency to reduction shifts to the right. At the same time, the Cl2, Cl minus redox equilibrium. shifts to the left. And we could say oxidation occurs, and this one is reduction occurs. Um, now if we wanted at this point, um, we could also just uh, be absolutely secure by saying E cell which is uh, the standard electric potential for the reduced species minus the standard electric potential of the oxidized species is going to be 1.63 volts the reduced minus 1.36 which is 0.27 volts so this reaction is feasible Okay, now we've got to think about what happens under alkaline conditions. So in aqueous alkali, according to this, we've got something different. So this time it says chlorine gas is reacting to form Cl- and ClO- chlorate and chloride. So we've got the reverse reaction happening. We've got this time reduction and we've got oxidation so the reverse reaction taking place so in alkali the reverse reaction takes place
Okay, now why is that going to happen? Now, the key thing here is to think alkali, acid, acid, alkali. That is what alkali does. It interacts with acid. So the first redox equilibrium here is not going to be affected by conditions because it doesn't have any acid or alkali in it. However, this bottom one, the H plus ions, are involved. And so what's going to happen to those? Well, if we have some OH minus around, then it's going to react with the H plus to form water. So the, H, the OH minus ions react with H plus to form water. This, what does that do? Well, it reduces the concentration of H plus ions. Actually, in alkali, we know the concentration of H plus is very, very small. Reduces the concentration of H plus, and what's that going to do? Well, it's going to make this equilibrium shift to the left. Thanks the ClO minus Cl2 redox equilibrium shift left. Okay, well that's going to happen. Now what's that going to do to the electrode potential? This means E becomes more negative. So this value here is going to go down. It's going to become more negative. OK. So what's the upshot? If E becomes more negative, than E standard of Cl2, Cl minus, with these non-standard conditions, then Cl2 will have a greater tendency to gain electrons, to gain electrons, and hence the Cl2, Cl minus equilibrium will shift to the right and ClO minus Cl2 will shift to the left. exact reverse of what we found earlier. Now let's look at the mark scheme and just check that our answer accords with that. So in the first case, it's the first marking point is given for saying that the ClO minus Cl2 system has a standard electrode potential that's more positive. Um, and in fact, that's exactly what we said here. The next thing, next mark was for saying that that means that uh, the redox equilibria shift in the way it says here. So Cl2, Cl minus to the left, ClO minus Cl2 to the right. That's in fact exactly what we said here. And you have to mention both to get that mark. Notice that you can get a mark for the E cell, but that counts towards the first marking point. And actually just saying that this one is more positive will get you the mark. Okay, then in alkali, you've got to mention that the H plus is removed by reaction with alkali, with OH minus. We have, um, and that means the ClO minus Cl2 becomes more negative than the other one. We said that here, um, it becomes more negative than that, if that's the case. Then Cl2 will have a greater tendency to gain electrons, and the final marking point Cl2, Cl- moves to the right, and ClO, Cl2 moves to the left. 
which is what we said in the final point. So that's the mark scheme and that's how to have a go answering that type of question.